Hi YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you um, what like mantis care and stuff and the heat that you should t keep your cage and what you can feed them. So this is one of my mantises, this is a camera mantis and her name is Ripley. She's not very old at the moment. Um, if you look at that plant there, she's just there. She has like a silver abdomen, not abdomen, belly as I call it. And like a lime green top half and stripy legs. She's gorgeous. Um, what I've done for a cage is I've put some eco earth on the bottom. And this. Sorry, I don't understand. <sighs> My Google somehow has been talk thinking that I'm talking to her, but I'm not. So, anyways, it has this piece of wood here. It has that tiny thing here which it does not come like that for your information just in case you're thinking about it if you want it i'm not sure if they come in smaller sizes i don't think they do but i took it off this which used to be one of my lizard cages and it just didn't look very nice so yeah also used to be in my old shield mantis cage um so yeah i've got some eco on the bottom that piece of wood and that at the back like I've just said and this fake plant here which I love it looks so good and yeah so that's my mantis now the heat of the cage is pretty important I recommend a heat mat so like a warm and a cold end cool like you would have reptiles which I have my some of my lizards here um so the woman ideally should be about 24 degrees Celsius and the cool end should be around about 18 degrees Celsius which is what I do. I have a heat mat over there which I put it on um, and spray it about once a day. Um, if you want me to be sp specific, I can never say that about that much, so about three things. Gets, don't make it too moist, otherwise it can grow fungus which can damage the mantis, but make sure it's always moist, because yeah, it's really good for them, and they don't drink out of a bowl usually, never ever common, it's usually they drink it off a side, so yeah, so if you think you're getting a camera mantis, they're pretty easy to get in the UK. Um, they get about this big, get pretty big. Um, where, but it's not the biggest mantis you can get. Some mantis get about this big. I used to have a shield mantis, which was huge. Um, yeah, so that's the size. And now I'm going to go through like what they can eat. So when they're grown ups, well, at I wouldn't, some people feed them up to the size of them, but I don't really recommend it. I don't like doing it. But when they get older, they can eat locusts, which are these guys. Um, what I'm feeding them at the moment is these crickets, which are about that big maybe about an, just under an inch long so about half their body size um don't need to well yeah you can feed them like crickets this big it's all right to feed them i just really don't recommend the locusts when at, they're at this age um so yeah i think that's pretty much it um I'll give an update on the lizard soon when Buddy has stopped shedding. There she is. Um, and Diego has, well, she's very lively at the moment and probably going to wait until she's matured a bit in a couple of months so I can take her out properly because she's a baby and she's an albino and albinos are very skittish. So... Hope you enjoyed this video. As normal, if if you like this video, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below of what video you want me to do next, and 
um, put the notification bell on if you haven't done already then you'll get every single video I upload on here and then you can watch my videos that was cringy <laughs> so I've lost my words now so hope you enjoyed the video again and I'll see you in the next one bye